Fit Beauties, and welcome back to my channel. It's Jessica Fit Beauty. I'm gonna go ahead and stick with that new intro. Thank you to Agape Love Girl. Make sure you check out her channel. Her link will be down in the description box. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I really hope that you will subscribe. And when you do, make sure that you click that little bell. That way you get notified every time I upload a new video. If you're coming back, Welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be doing my AM skincare routine. A video was requested for my current skincare by a subscriber here on YouTube, Chrissy to be lovely. So thank you so much for that suggestion. But I wanted to start off with AM first because it's the easiest skincare routine. I'm also testing out a new product by Dr. Brandt that has retinol in it for evening. So I wanna make sure I give that a full go before I share with you guys my current PM routine, if that makes sense. Anyway, if you guys want to see this video, go ahead and watch. Okay, let's go ahead and just jump right on into this thing. So to start off with, in the morning when I wake up, obviously I'm gonna cleanse my skin. And I wake up slightly oily in the morning, not like greasy, greasy, but I can definitely feel like a little bit of, you know, the leftover moisturizer from whatever I've used because as I'm getting older, I'm tending to use something that's a lot more moisturizing. It's going to be anti-aging. And again, we're gonna go into that later when I do a PM skincare talk. But what I start off with in the morning is the Tatcha Camellia Cleansing Oil. This is a pricey product. There is 5.1 fluid ounces in this and it is $48 from Sephora or you can also find it on QVC. Now this is where I'm going to get into the talk real quick and kind of skip around. I kind of wanted to keep everything together but in the morning I do like to exfoliate lightly. I don't want something too tough because again I want my makeup application to look nice and unless if I'm going to just hang around the house I want to keep everything on my skin very gentle so I don't have irritated skin before applying my makeup. So I do occasionally like to use the Tatcha Rice Enzyme. This is awesome. It kind of lightly foams up. It does have a bit of a rice fragrance, so if you're sensitive to that and you don't like that, then I would stay away from this, but it's not overpowering, so that is great. I've actually had this for about four months. I don't use it all the time, but sometimes I do just to get, a, you know, if I feel like my skin's a little extra dry in areas, so I'll go in and I'll just really kind of lightly exfoliate. This is 2.1 fluid ounces and $65 at Sephora. On QVC.com, you can actually purchase both of these full size, just like this, which normally would cost you $115 on their own. You can purchase it right now for $86.36. So this is a special they're running currently. I don't think it's always that. It showed that the normal price was 95. So it's a savings of about $20 normally, but you're getting a little extra kick. So it's almost about $25 worth of savings if you purchase on. QVC. You can also purchase this little package right here. I'm going to go ahead and put it on this screen for $27 at Sephora. They're little sample sizes, but it's a great way to get to try the product and see if you like it before investing in the full size. Now moving on, one of my current obsessions that I've been using for about the last month is the Pixi Skin Treats Glow Tonic to Go. This is the packaging right here. You can find it at Target for $22 and there are 60 pads inside. This is also great to travel with. I wish I would have had something like this when I was a flight attendant because it would have been super easy to just toss in your bag. There's no liquid that you have to worry about having in a separate baggie. It's just easy to put inside. What's great about this product is there's 5% glycolic acid in it. Glycolic is really good to lightly exfoliate the skin as well as helping with cell turnover. So as I'm aging, those are all the things and keywords I'm looking for in a product, but obviously I want to try it before giving it my stamp of approval. So I will use this actually AM and PM, so it kind of goes in with the PM as well. However, I do not use this product every day. I use it a few days a week. Now let's go ahead and move on to the hydration of the skin. Moisturizer is super important. One thing I have found and that I've tested with is that I do not want a heavy moisturizer before applying my makeup. Plus, I just don't want it sitting on my skin all day, so I want something very light. A lot of companies have come out with moisturizers that are water-based, which is great. I am in love with and have been for about three months now, the Tarte H2O, it's their Hydrating Boost moisturizer. It is a gel based, but it absorbs so quickly into the skin. It doesn't leave like a thick filmy residue on my skin, which is great for the next steps coming. You can find this product at Sephora for $39. There's 1.7 fluid ounces. And again, I highly recommend it. You can also look for the little gift packages that Sephora does and purchase it as well to try a couple different things from this line. 
All right, so this next product is probably one of my most favorite things. I've been using it for about six months since after Christmas. So is that about six months? January, February, March, April, May, and June. Yeah, that's about six months. And it's from Algenis. It is a very pricey product. It is for the eye. It is the Complete Eye Renewal Balm. But this stuff is the bomb.com. I'm not even joking you. It is $69 for point five fluid ounces. I know. <gasps> But let me tell you, you do not use a lot. Let me show you how much I've used in six months. So this is how much I have used. I mean, as you can see, there is a ton still left in it. You really do not need a lot. Like I literally just dip my finger in just like that and use that much for both eyes. I start on the outer portion because it's supposed to help with fine lines and wrinkles. It also helps with puffiness and dark circles. So this is like my favorite, but I just go out here on the outer part and I just pat it in and then I kind of just, you know, push the product in lightly and I do it on both sides. This stuff is truly amazing. I absolutely love it. There's not a strong fragrance to it, which is great. There's really no fragrance at all. And I just love the properties and what it's been doing for my eyes. So I do use this morning and night. And I also at nighttime, I couple it up with other things, but this is what I use in the morning currently. And this is it for eye care in the morning. The next thing is this guy. And I've been using this for about a month and a half. It is the Alchemy Forever Firming Gel for neck and bust. And hey girl, let me tell you, as we age, our neck, our decollete, our bust. That is where you can see a lot of the agents, sometimes even more than the face. It is not a very expensive price for eight fluid ounces. It is $49. Whoa! But this stuff is amazing. I've seen a huge difference in like the texture of my neck and bust and how it looks. It just seems to look a little firmer and tighter and just, I don't know, overall great. So I'm loving this. I do couple it. I do also use the Clarisonic with it, with the attachment that's got the massager head. You guys, I will be doing a demo on this soon. I've wanted to give it like a full run before I actually tell you guys if this is awesome. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I love my Clarisonic. I've been using it for probably about five plus years. I started off with the regular Clarisonic Mia and then now moved to their new little mini Mia. I had that since last year. And then I also have this one, which has the cleansing head, the body head, and then of course now this new head that is the massaging head and soon I'm going to be trying out the foundation head so I'll let you guys know if I love it. This is a high price but it is absolutely worth it. You won't regret it. I love it. And again you can purchase it on QVC for their payment plan so that's super awesome. I'm not saying to put yourself in debt but invest in your skincare and if you have to do it on a payment plan this is a way you can do it so you can purchase the product and own it for yourself. All right so let's add, go into some extra things things that are like you know a little puffery and things that I love. Those last things I just talked about are definitely like my ride or dies every single day but I do use masks that I love. If you guys didn't see my most recent kind of show tutorial on the Glam Glow Gravity Mud I will link it up here so you guys can check it out. But this is one of my favorite masks. It is a peeling mask. It's bright silver, kind of white, platinum color. But anyway, I will link that up above so you guys can see this as well. This is one of the masks that I love to use before makeup application. The other masks I love, if you've been following me on Snapchat or my Instagram stories, you know I am in love with sheet masks. I'm no stranger to them. I try thousands of them. I get them at TJ Maxx. I get them online. I get them sent to me in PR packages. But this is currently my my favorite one of my favorite ones it is the Karuna brightening face mask it is good for sun damage discolored skin and it's but it's not for sensitive skin so if you have super sensitive skin then you don't want this but another mask that I love from Karuna it's the hydrating face mask it is good for dry dull and dehydrated skin so this is really great if I'm feeling a little extra dry or funky and I just want a little zhuzh to my skin I use that I also like the primer mask by BioBell. It doesn't leave my skin feeling sticky or a funky residue. So these are just kind of some of my favorite sheet masks that I love to use before makeup application. The other thing I love is these eye masks from Tarte. I keep them in the refrigerator so they're nice and cold and I apply them like as I'm waking up in the morning, getting my coffee, I'll put these on, walk around, let them just really help. And this is if I'm extra puffy in the morning, which can sometimes happen, but these are expensive. They're I think 21 bucks for three of them at Sephora. You can find other copies of these just about anywhere like Amazon. I've seen them at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Home Goods. So you don't have to purchase something as expensive as this, but I do like these ones. 
Okay, we are almost done, I swear. I just have some face sprays that I wanna talk about because I am in love with face sprays. There's something that I do apply in the AM and I also like to keep in my handbag or my gym bag, whatever I have. I just like stuff to refresh my skin throughout the day or before I apply my makeup. My current favorite one is the Lumen Vitamin C Spray. It is $21.99 at Ulta.com. I believe you can find it in some Ultas. I'm not really sure, but you can also find it on Dermstore.com. Again, I will link everything down below. I also love the Pure Hydrate and Set. I am a huge fan of the Mario Badescu water. It's great. It's the rose water. I even did a video and I'll link it up above on how to make the rose water on your own at home. I also love the Caudalie. I've been like using this sparsely. I actually got it when I was in St. Martin and I love it. I love the smell of it. It's wonderful. It's awesome. I also love the Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist. This is one of my favorites, especially for an extra dry day. But overall, I am a super in love with the Vitamin C Spray. It just smells so good. I'm gonna put some on. Oh, this smells just amazing. I love it, and it just refreshes my skin. All right, babes, so that is it for my current AM skincare favorites. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. If you actually wanna see how I apply this stuff, let me know down in the comment section. I'll be happy to let you know. I also am going to be having a follow-up with the PM probably next week, so stay tuned for that. And I'm going to be doing a full review talk through with the Clarisonic Smart Profile and Neck Massager, so stay tuned for that as well. Until next time, we'll be seeing you soon. Bye! You can find the H... <laughs> Subscribe to my channel.